Alright guys, it all comes down to this now. One hour, seven minutes in recording. Let's see, who should we trust with this deed? Hmm, let's use Green Yoshi actually. Green Yoshi like, buffed out and stuff for Jungle Puddle. This man deserves to be the one to end it off for us. I don't know who started it, but I'm gonna let him finish it. Green Yoshi deserves my thanks and praise. So, here's his rightly deserved shot. Also, I've never been able to go through this door, so I've, I don't even know what's on the other side of it. I don't remember it from the all mount walkthrough either, so... Yeah, there you go! DJ Flagelbegde! I don't know his name. All I know is it's DJ and then like PH and J. He does things, right? I hate to be rude, but I'd, I'm tempted to like resort to just looking up speed runs because no one talks during a speed run. I didn't grab any eggs. Were there eggs back there? Because I feel stupid otherwise. Well, it gives me one. I'm not turning back, though. Ugh, I hate the fact that I just did that. Oh, dear lord, don't go in that lava, Yoshi. Also, I heard there was some glitch, and it was like what I was telling you about with the whole Blarg thing. Like, um, when I was looking up parts and stuff ages ago. Apparently, there's a glitch where you can just walk all along the floor of lava. I don't know, anytime I always got hit and I was underneath the lava, I'd just jump out as quickly as possible before I'd stop the whole damage meter and risk the chance of dying. But if it is possible... Okay, you know what? If it is possible to, um, you know, walk around like that, I didn't know it. And the reason I didn't see the eggs is because it's really low lit. Like, it's cool the way it's lit, but it's also kind of, st uh, not stupid, but a little bit annoying. We're gonna go ahead and ride the dragon again, just so I can get those other things. Like, I like it because it feels kind of real, and I'm a bit of a fan of, like, obscure lighting and shading and stuff. I like things like that, crazy lightings or whatever. I like looking at artwork and seeing how well lit and shaded and things are, and shadows and all that. I like that, so I like the way this is lit, how the lava's all bright and the Yoshis are all dark. That's cool. It's low lit, it's from the bottom up. I like it, I think it's cool. And above all, you can still see Yoshi all the same, so it's not that big of an issue. But some things are a bit hard to see, which I guess could make it challenging, but I'm not going to say it's annoying. I don't know, it's just one of those sometimes you mess up kind of things. There we go. Let's get out of here, Yosh. We got to ride the dragon twice. Speaking of, there was also an air dragon inside of Cloud Cruising that we didn't get to see because we went through it so obscurely fast. Obscure probably wasn't the proper word, but it'll be okay, Yosh. We got it. So long as you're here, we can do it. You know what? Let's eat the GURPS. Oh, but I don't want to because we're going to break the combo. Ugh. Oh, dear heavens. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Much better, sir. Is this because? Yeah. Alright, we're good. Do, 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 do. Oh, heavens. Uh, why am I saying heavens? Heavens to Betsy! I always thought that was one of those, like, stupid phrases that was funny because it was stupid. That's like, who says that kind of thing? But it's just funny because nobody does say it. Alright, go past it. There you go. Alright, let's quickly get rid of that. Oh, God. Alright, alright. We can do it, Yosh. Let's jump up. And see, once you get up here, you can't get down. So you gotta be wise about what you're doing. Um, There's two. I don't know. I guess we can keep going. Oh, dear. Uh, come on, Yoshi. We can do it. Yeah, if we could stop dying, that is. We could do it. 
So now I'm hesitant about going up. I'd rather go up because there's only death up ahead. Ugh. Good dodge. Alright. It's not so bad, except for this part. And that part, too. And again, the pattern thing, but again, this is a hard level, so I should probably not be complaining. I'm gonna try and mellow out on the grapes now. We've gotten about five, so that's good enough. Take that back. We'll grab these two. Okay. I really wish that melon wasn't there, but whatever. Now we're milling out on the grapes for good. Uh, let's see what's up here. Um, is there really... like... Chump through. That's what I love, is abusing the, some of those damage boxes sometimes. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's... That's lovely placed. Truly. Truly. So what's this pipe, then? Are you kidding me? This looks absolutely dreadful. Except for that part where it killed me. Hood! Hood! Alright, confession though, if I end up close to death, I won't hesitate and I'll eat another fruit. That was something I meant to bring up a long time ago, but I've never actually been in that issue. So it's been good. Oh dear. Yeah, that was why they did that. I was wondering about it. Is it just me, or does it look like it spins faster when we get close? Duck. Oh my dear lord, this is... This is an all-out war. Baby Bowser's pissed. I feel like I should be sniffing. Well, you know... Now how... Honestly... How? I don't know how to get much lower than that. Alright, this part I don't like. You have no choice but to not like it because even if you do touch these, you can't go through them. So I've got to try and be our carefulest of this. And yeah, I've seen this part of the place before. I remember this. And of course, I remember on the whole walkthrough thing with the all melons, and I was like, hey dude, why don't you do it? And then I heard somewhere that like it doesn't count. And I think I've even tried it too. There you go. So if you get hit, it'll push you. Nah, <laughs> now that's just wrong. Oh yeah. See, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, that doesn't make it any better. Dude, are you gonna like move? Holy crap. Oh, and they're going to put another one there. Another two. Just take it, Yoshi. See? We can live. That's just stupid. Go ahead. There's no dodging it. Feel free to move. And then his torch is all out. We have done it, and that's it. Okay, so hold up, hold up. That's the very end of the level, and there's no key in sight. That's dumb. That's that's dumb. I don't like you. You're dumb. Thank God for the whole warps. I don't think I got three, so we're just gonna cruise along. I'm fairly certain I didn't activate three. Alright, hold up. We got melons, so there's no reason. Uh, well, we have no choice but to go up. So if we go up, thank you. Because I know there's other places we haven't explored. There's like a pit, I know that. That, like, you can jump down and it'll take you to a certain area. Fortunately, I don't remember which one it is, so I don't know what to do. Thank you, curbs. Uh, it might be this one. 
No. No, it's not. Oh, it's the one next to me. Well, I'm sorry, Green Yoshi. I didn't mean to kill you. That wasn't your fault at all. That was completely mine. It was wrong. So we'll resort to Yellow Yoshi. Alright, now I know there was also a way over here that we didn't go. And there's even arrows pointing to it. I'm fairly certain down there's a pit. So what's over here then? What the hell? That was great, except for the part where it pushed me off. Let's try that again. Now let's try it. Yeah. I think you're clever. Screw you. Grab that for the health's sake. Oh. Well, isn't that something? Except for the part where we fall yet again, so we'll just go through that door over there. If we cannot die, thank you. I was beginning to get worried. <sighs> I'm sorry, what? Why are we doing that? Whoa, there's two of them. There's no eggs. Alright, well, um... A little secret is that this was inside of a... Jelly pipe. And if you got this, you could get a heart. I don't even have enough eggs. Let's see what happens if we kill one of them, at least. No, now we can't even do that. I'm fairly certain the door is going to disappear now. Maybe it won't. That'd be a silly thing for a door to do. Well, I've got a feeling if you do that, you just get hearts anyway. Or maybe melons, I don't know. But it's one of the two. If you did it in Jelly Pipe, you'd get a heart. And it's what happens if you, um fall down in one of the first pits that I dodged. Good one. I don't know how I could explain that, but... Just know it was like at the beginning of the level, it was like that one pit I didn't explore. Near the very beginning. Hold up, hold up. Okay, now there's blocks. There's these bouncing... weird... Yeah, see, look, we did, we did good, Yosh. We did good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and try this, actually fighting this properly. We did proper fights for half of the time, and the first time we did it cheaply. So let's make this epic, shall we? Behold, the final Baby Bowser. That was crap. A lot of eggs. Still crap. Okay. There you go. I could. Uh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Can I? Can I get anything to work with me? It's a tight throw. But we can get it. Okay, I don't want to... Well, that would have been cool. Throw it that way. Yeah! That was cool. Alright. That was good. Oh, dear. Why is that bomb? That bomb was everywhere. I ate something. Come on, give me the bombs. Oh, dear. He blew up. And I don't like the fact that the bombs hurting me. Hoo hoo! Yeah, you deserve that one. Ugh! That was the best! Yeah, see, there you go. Done properly. Didn't need any hail. Well, technically I did, but I mean, I didn't grab the heart or anything. This hurts! I hate you puny little Yoshis, so I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Its fruits taste rotten to me. Yeah, that's how it's done. Which means is, is probably going to be a long video. Because we're not cutting anything out. Well, we are cutting out the whole death part. 
that that deserves being cut, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it depends on if it's like 20 minutes, because I hate 20 minute long videos. Yeah, see, there, there's it's not beating it. Are you shitting me? All right, whatever. Okay, that's that's cool. That that will work with me. And just because I can, we'll use our proper name this time. Remember this guy? He won't be famous one day. Well, let's sit back and watch the proper credits as they are in their entirety then. We finished the game, we done all the levels, and we did it in the most random, obscure order that may have irritated some people. But it was made with love. And we did it all by using two fruits through more majority of it. I was gonna say like majority and I was gonna say 90%, so I kinda combined those and got bleh. Okay, my phone is going off every 10 minutes. I've tried to be subtle about it, but it just doesn't shut up. And I need to charge it! <laughs> I guess... <sighs> I gotta make a complaint, I don't know why I'm putting it on vibrate now, as if it's gonna make a difference. But one thing I don't like is for some reason, whoever I follow on Twitter, they always seem to like update in bursts. So like, with me, I'll do like maybe one tweet a day, if like, one every few hours. These people will do like five in like the time span of 30 minutes. It's like, we get it, you're over-analyzing a joke. <laughs> and I know, like, I could turn off the alerts, but it's like, I like them, and I want to know what's going on with them. I just wish they didn't tell me all at once. That's the only irritation I have. Uh, this has been fun talked about stupid things all the way through. And we finally got a proud successor then to um, the original Yoshi story done properly. Properly. I feel the need to just listen to the music, so... I shouldn't sing along, because there was one time I was singing along and it was like, out of sync, and I have no idea how it got out of sync. And it like, kind of annoyed me. But it wasn't too far out of sync, so I mean, like, it still fit with the game. It was just right there when I was singing along, you could really tell it wasn't. You could hear a little bit of echo, which gave it away as well. The Yoshis found the castle and figured the super happy tree was there. Instead, they found a hot lava and a hot-tempered baby Bowser. But happiness wins in the end, and the Yoshis paddled baby Bowser. The day was won and Bowser had fell. The super happy tree was well. Yoshis were as happy as could be. The heroes danced for the tree. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Personally, I think the music in this game is beautiful. Especially this upcoming part. I always hated when the whole heart thing would come on and it'd like, you know, tell the story of what happened. I always hated that as a kid. I didn't care about it. I don't have any criticism about it now. I find it fine. I'm glad you guys, if... For those of you who did decide to stay along and watch it with me, watch me play it, I mean, thank you. I appreciate it and you're deed will not be unnoticed it will not be forgotten I pay attention like I get so little 
well, I don't know how to word it, but like, I notice who comments and who pays attention to my shit, so, thank you, you guys are awesome. As far as future stuff goes, I've been thinking a lot about Twilight Princess. Also, I've been, um, playtesting XD Pokemon. Like, at first I said there wasn't going to be a chance that would happen. Admittedly, I think I will. But I'm a bit nervous as far as how it's going to play out, so... It's still something I'm working on. Anyway, we got the hat dude. And a bunch of gibberish and my legs going to sleep. And of course, JC4R. That's who I am. If there's one thing that I always loved about the Nintendo 64 that I wish was continued on in music style and other consoles, is the music box. The music box is like the simplest, most beautiful sounding thing ever, and I love it. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you with my next project. Have an awesome night.